Yeah, I mean, catch. I, I think what Texas has to do is really approach this thing and say, okay, we're going to be the New York Yankees of college football. Just you know, the, and and just and just embrace embrace it, embrace it, and say, you know what? We've got the money to spend. We've got the people who are, are willing to do it. And and you do what you're supposed to do. The Yankees for years catch. They never apologized to the Tampa Bay Rays for spending more money for guys. Like in fact, they were like, "Thank you." You know, you years ago, it's like I remember when I was in Tampa and, and Carl Crawford was a standout there, and everything was for how many years was how long can they keep Carl Crawford there? And then eventually, they're like, "Yeah, all right, well, he's going to go to Boston, right?" And it it was in it be all you you knew it. You understood it, and Boston never apologized for being Boston. The Yankees never apologized for being the Yankees, and there's no reason for Texas to say, you know what, at the end of the day, this is our advantage. Because if all things – look, catch, when all things were equal, when all things were equal, catch, Quinn Ewers didn't come here. When all things were equal, Quinn Ewers went to Ohio State. And guess what? When it was time for the recruitment process to reopen again, and he was choosing – between Texas and, and, of course, Texas Tech. You know what played a huge advantage, a huge role in that catch? It was NIL. You know, it, it, yes, does he love the Longhorns? Absolutely. Does he have a Longhorn tattoo on his leg now? Absolutely. Yes, they, but they, Texas had to give him a reason to come, come home, to be, to be a Longhorn again. And so if you're Texas catch, don't shy away from it. Don't run away from it. You know, one of the things that I was doing, I was on a um, podcast a couple of weeks ago uh, with Andy Staples. And he told me, he said he thought one of the biggest challenges and issues that Texas has had is that Texas just hasn't embraced its identity. It's always trying to be like other programs, right? It's always trying to emulate what other programs, oh, they did this at Bama. Oh, they do this at Ohio State. And Texas is trying to be like them. He said, you know, when he, he pointed out Pete Carroll, he goes, when Pete Carroll was at USC, he embraced what USC was. It, it's, it was Hollywood. It's LA, right? Stars are out. Like, it, it, they embraced it and then they excelled in it. They understood this is what being, you know, this is what USC is all about. And Texas has been afraid to be Texas. Texas is being is afraid to, for years, ah, we don't want to go to the SEC. Ah, man. Whew. You know, we, we're, we're an academic institution and we're, we're okay over here. And it's like, dude, you are the richest program in all of college football. Who cares? Don't, if someone doesn't like it, if Tech doesn't like it, Baylor doesn't like it, whoever doesn't like it, it don't matter. It don't matter. That, cry, cry me a river. Go ahead and, and buy them a golden Kleenex if you need to. Go, gold box Kleenex tissues. Tell them to cry cry themselves to sleep. Give them some rogue products. Use the, use the discount code and send it to them. At this point, Texas just got catch. catch. They just next day. I, I think now we're seeing them being more aggressive than we've seen them before. And I think come next, come this, the rest of this year, they should even go even more over the top. Whoever's coming in the transfer portal, I want you to think about Texas first because they've got the money, they got the resources. Don't be, don't be, don't be afraid to be who you are.